Patty from Preston sent me a lovely email saying, Richo, I love my chicken schnitzel. I eat them three times a week, but can I get more flavour into them? Well, Patty, I'm going to show you a little trick that my grandmother taught me. And it starts with a beautiful chicken breast. I've cut it open so it flattens it out and makes that chicken breast nice and even. Now, here's the flavour bit. I'm going to add some vegetta, just a little sprinkle of chicken vegetta onto my chicken breast. And here's another tip. You can use it in lots of different ways. There's a seasoning like this on the chicken or in the flour or in the eggs and milk or even in the breadcrumbs. It works in all of those conditions. Now, of course, we need to season it up so some salt goes on my chicken and some pepper goes on there as well. That'll make sure that this chicken breast is going to be the most delicious schnitzel in the entire world. Now, you just mix around the flour like that and with a fork, you mix the egg and milk together so they're combined beautifully. And you can see the yellow colour of the seasoning is going all the way through the milk and eggs. And the breadcrumbs, just give them a little fluff up like this to make sure the baguette is mixed all the way through. And then, Patty, it's a very simple process of grabbing the chicken breast, patting it down to make sure it's nicely coated in the flour, and then over to the egg and the milk, make sure that's coated nicely. Then you pop it in the breadcrumbs and give it a little bit of a pat down like this. Now, I like to double crumb my chicken breast, and that makes sure, Patty, that I've got an even thick coating of breadcrumbs all over my chicken breast. That's what I like best about my schnitzel. I'm using panko breadcrumbs and I love the way they give it some crunch. Now my pan's ready to go and I'll grab some extra virgin olive oil, pop that into the middle of the pan. It's really hot already, so I reckon I can get my schnitzel in there pretty much straight away. Turn that up to a medium high heat. Now, Paddy, the trick is to grab your chicken breast like that and shake off any of the loose breadcrumbs. Then take it over to your oil and then pop it in the pan and you can see I'm dropping it away from me and that way I don't splash myself. Now this will take a couple of minutes to cook. I'll turn it over when it's golden brown and I'll be ready to tuck into a very delicious chicken schnitzel. After a couple of minutes, Patty, the chicken is cooked all the way through and I'll pull it out of the pan. It's cooked so much it's actually fallen apart, but that's okay. I've got a little fork here. It looks great like that, doesn't it? And I'll just pick it up and pop it on the plate here and then a squeeze of lemon over the top. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Make sure your pan is off and it's just a matter of tucking into the chicken and having a taste of it. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. Nice and moist and juicy and plenty of flavour. Patty, three snizzles a week? No. After this tip, you'll be doing six for sure.